Now, Giuseppe Krupe is back in the kitchen this morning to impart some of his culinary wisdom with another tasty Italian recipe. Giuseppe, you've got a little helper over here. Yes, because is, I like... Is, is that raw? Do you have to cook that? Or can well, you, you can eat it. Tell me what you think about it. <laughs> you that's very tasty. Right? Thank you. I know, thank breakfast, you. Giuseppe. I do apologize. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's perfect. I love everybody who loves food. That's all. Since I am a teacher, I need a student and I have a kid today. He's a perfect student. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, so, perfect. so just crack one egg because I need one yolk and one full egg into that. We'll score We're, you at the end, King. Okay. okay. One full and then you want me to... Yes. Uh, I like the style. So we so have to cover... So for viewers at home, Giuseppe, we are doing a real authentic carbonara. carbonara. Now okay. with carbonara you can use guanciale, which is the cheek of the pig, or you can use the pancetta, which is the value of the Sorry, you've got to make a bit of noise now. You left out. You have to, you what have you to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's not a good food if it's not noisy when you make it, okay? You've got to speak a bit louder, Giuseppe. Yeah, yeah, well, well, I have on. no problem speaking louder. <laughs> So, You're talking to the right guy, I think. Yeah, well, he's well able to project his voice. And <laughs> scream. So then we have a little bit of... You can put as much cheese as you want. And this is, yes. And this is uh, pecorino cheese. Pecorino. Uh, yes. Well, I love this cheese. <laughs> well, uh, I hope Mark is going to love this. Well, in this case, what you should do then... Yeah, needs a good theme, not my <laughs> ...is to put a little bit of black pepper. You see, like, uh, the carbonara pasta um, is quite a recent dish created in uh, Rome. Some people actually associate it to the Americans who came, you know, bacon and, che and eggs as a combination was yeah. a novelty. And other people, too, the actual carbonari were the um, miners, you know, for charcoal. And in fact, when you put the pepper, you have this sort of effect, as if it's uh, charcoal in a way. A, oh, very pepper, good. Okay. a little bit more, if you like. Be I'm generous with more. the pepper. Oh, there we very go. generous with everything. <laughs> of course. Very happy-handed, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. That's like flavors. We like flavors. Yes, yes, yes. Flavors yeah. of Italy. Okay. And, uh, Mark, um, there's not a lot of subtlety going on here. No, okay? no, no. Don't no. judge Giuseppe Bra on this. Brand placing <laughs> quite It's yeah. important at 20 to 9 in the morning yeah. to have a nice plate of heavy yes. carbonara. Well, uh, it's not heavy when it's done with love. Not with in, love, yes. okay. Nothing made with love well, will, will you make you fast. Yes. yes, and then uh, I put a little bit of olive oil just to smoothen it up. Okay, just warm and, a lot of oil. Yes, okay. and then uh, in the meantime our pancetta is cooking. And uh, I also add a little bit of the uh, water from the pasta. Okay. So well, now, that's an interesting trick to say. Well, yeah, because you see, like, people tend to add uh, cream or... And, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank I, you, Matt. I never liked carbonara because every, every time I had it here, it was always dosed in cream. Too heavy. Then I went to Italy and I had it with egg and cheese yeah. and pecorino, not... Um, not parmesan. Yeah, not, not parmesan. It's a completely different dish. Yeah, and the problem is if you have a cream, it can get terrible... Um, what did I get from a camp okay. oil factor? Oh. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a kind of a, um, a, 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 a what do you call it, a... Gastric. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> not present. That's not probably present the most polite way. But we didn't put any. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we are going to put the directly the, the pasta in, uh, in the egg, okay? And um, uh, you see, like, the thing is, like, the heat of the pasta should be enough uh, to eat, uh, to cook Coffee, the egg, yeah. because you don't want pasta and omelette, really, you know. But one little trick <laughs> in that case is to put it over your boiling pot uh, so that uh, it's going to cook like bain marie, if you like. Okay. And while this is cooking, we finish off the cooking of the pancetta. Uh, now, it's uh, also quite uh, a nice thing to do in terms of uh, dish, uh, a quick dish, you know, like sometimes people want to do something fast and they talk about frozen pizza. Mm -hmm. And that's why during the class, uh, this is one of the most common recipes that we do. And uh, in fact, you know, like you, before you were talking about uh, autism, uh, we find that with loads of people... Uh, with uh, um, uh, in special conditions. It's actually quite nice to do cooking as an activity because they think completely out of the box. Of course. And that's right. very yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, so the homey yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so we worked in the past with, with a few So if you want to learn how to make this properly, you can go to the Italian school? Exactly, Italian School of Cooking. Or if you just want to be spoiled rotten, you could go to Pinocchio's and Ranlo. Yes, uh, but we also right. cater food if you, if you don't want to cook. And uh, as well as that, we are going to add now the, the pancetta to the dish so that we can uh, almost taste it. He's picking at the picorino. Well, I'm just saying I'm telltales. Telltales. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, and now we need uh, the expert uh, um, to mm -hmm. tell us what he thinks about it. Okay. So, as always, they, let, uh, they force us to rush, uh, you know, like... Uh, 
Well, food that should be done. Something else on the plate. Yes, it is on the plate. Giuseppe needs his own show, I think. Yes. Extra time. Giuseppe. How can I get away with it? Now, you're going to plate some up for Keith. We'll give you some as well, Keith. Oh, yes. For all your help. Do you reckon he'd make a kitchen porter? Oh, you wonderful kitchen porter. Wonderful. Let's get a close up on Mark here, right on his mouth. There you go. <laughs> what do you think? Just give us a thumbs up. You. Thank you. So perfectly balanced meal, right? You've got your carbs, you've got your egg, your cheese, and your uh, your meat. So you've got your proteins, you've got everything you want to. So it's actually All a great start to the day. It's a great start to the day oh, if you're going to run a marathon tasty. later on. Thank right. you for that, Mark. <laughs> actually, do you know, they give you uh, pasta after a marathon, though, to replace your Well, they do, but before a marathon is more important. Mm. Thank you, Giuseppe, as always. Thank Brightening you, Giuseppe, love to meet you. I'll be, I'll be over now. Uh, got the please, I'll be your number one student over in the school. Please, grazie. Yes, Giuseppe is giving away a three-course lunch for four people at the Italian School of Cooking we were just talking about. And to enter, all you have to do is log on to the Facebook page, Ireland I am on Facebook, to win.